Hi, I'm Sarah Stockham, and I help people to raise their natural energy. I want to share a little bit with you about the picture that's over my shoulder, the one of the gardenias. I find that spirit works in such magnificent, interesting ways, and that we only get to see the front of the tapestry every now and then, and that most of the time we're looking at the back of the tapestry. And so what we're seeing is pieces of yarn or fabric or colors that may or may not go so well together or lots of knots. In the back of the tapestry is where the work is being done in terms of sewing in and taking the thread and making sure it's not going to pull out. The front of the tapestry is where the work is. It's where the beauty is. It's where the work shows up in such a way that is unique. It's significant, if even only for the person who is doing the work. And so as I was putting together the things that I wanted to have that are special to me in this new space in the studio, I instantly gravitated toward this towards this photo. And this picture is one of 500 that are in the world. And this copy um, was one that I walked into a gallery in Kauai a number of years ago and instantly fell in love with the gardenias. I loved the shape of them. I loved the color. Everything about it just spoke to me. As I looked at so many other things in the gallery, it was important for me to come home with this one piece. In part because when I was in high school in Africa, we had a roundabout and we wanted the roundabout, I wanted the roundabout, to be a place that the guard dogs wouldn't run through. And so I talked to my dad about it and we decided that we would put bamboo, had dry bamboo and my mom laughed and said, if that bamboo ever grows, you'll never see a flower inside. And gratefully the bamboo was fine, it was completely dry, it didn't take root. So inside I began to grow things that would do well in our natural acidic African soil, and that included gardenias. There were many gardenia plants inside of this circular roundabout. And so when I looked at this picture, I could absolutely smell being home in Kinshasa and the beautiful flowers that were there. When I got back to where we were staying and unwrapped the picture that I had very happily purchased, I began to read about the artist. And shockingly, she was born and raised in the Democratic Republic of Congo, just like I had. It was just such a weird quinky dink. And yet, she had had a similar experience of loving gardenias. I was amazed by that. You see, I believe that spirit delights in giving us every now and then a quick look at the front of the tapestry of how lives are interlocked, of how people who haven't met are able to impact each other, for how the energy is flowing consistently, globally, and for the beauty of that. Friend, there are things in your life, I believe, that have been placed there that perhaps you see the significance of and perhaps not, but are reminding you that you are cared for, that you are seen, that you are loved, that the things that you are planting in your life are also reverberating in other people's lives in beauty. And I hope that today you'll be able to have just a glimpse of the front of the tapestry and to know that the back side, which is where we usually see because we're usually doing the work or are involved in the work, that the back side is also filled with beauty because it's all about perspective. I invite you to follow me on Instagram at Sarah Stockham for daily encouragement. And I am so glad that you are here.